today we are talking about modern day parenting. Things have certainly changed throughout the last years. And joining us are Lisa Harst and Molly Pearson. Nice to see you, ladies. Good it's been a while. Happy yeah. New Year to you guys. Thank I haven't you. seen you in quite a few weeks. Um, okay, so modern day parenting. There's a lot of books out there telling people things have certainly changed. Right, right. And it seems to be a really popular topic right now just with kind of like the information overload. Mm -hmm. And people are starting to discuss, you know, is letting your kid cry it out really more beneficial to them mm -hmm. than going in and helping them soothe themselves. So, um, What is the reason behind letting your kid cry it out? Is it self-soothing? Just mm -hmm. the whole self? Right, that they learn like they won't how be to manage. On you. Was yeah. there a was there somebody in particular, or was this a certain movement that started? I mean, when did this come about? Just a couple of years ago. Well, when we were kind of going back and researching things, it says from like the 1970s to now, it's just progressively gotten a little bit more mm -hmm. extreme and or more popular. Right, mm -hmm. right. And I know um, my grandma had seven kids, mm -hmm. um, eight kids, and. One of the things my dad always told me, and a lot of my uncles have said, is that she would have never let her babies cry it out. Yeah. You know, that um, when they were little, there were so many of them mm -hmm. that most of the babies at that time would sleep in their room with them until they were almost two, hmm. because then they would go and share a room with somebody else. So it's kind of talking about how um, parents are becoming detached instead of being attached to their kids, and not necessarily in a bad way, but you know, that um, babies under two really don't need to self-soothe. Mm -hmm. That, you know, eventually they'll learn, you know, to sleep in their own beds and go to sleep by themselves and they won't have sleep problems when they're 10. Mm -hmm. so, that's a really, really interesting. Yeah. Huh. And the internet anymore. I mean, the amount of information that's on the internet. <clears throat> I mean, if, if I get just feeling kind of gross and I'm like, oh, I wonder what it could be. If you go yeah. on and try to self-diagnose yourself on the internet, yeah. you're going to think that something's major like, wrong. Like, I'm dying tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure the same thing can happen when right. it comes to parenting. One little thing happens right. and there's conflicting stories in every single way as well. Yeah, it's too much information, really. Especially if you're a first-time parent, mm -hmm. it's like you're like, oh my gosh, all this stuff could be wrong. You're like, I should be doing this. And then you read an article that's like, I should be doing this. And yeah. it's like, sometimes you just have to try, like, they didn't have the internet 50 years ago, yeah. and they did, all, like, we all turned out pretty, you know, just yeah, fine. Yeah, absolutely. So Go I think, with your instinct. Yeah, you have to trust your gut. And, I mean, you're their mom. If you think they're going to be okay and fall asleep in a minute, you know, mm -hmm. give them five or ten minutes and see. If you don't think so, go in and pick them up. Like, there's not a right and a wrong way mm -hmm. to be a parent. What are some other things that are different um, with the whole modern-day parenting as compared to, you know, even just when we were kids back in the 80s. I mean, the biggest one is technology, obviously. They mm -hmm. say that's another reason parents are becoming detached, is that they're just not making time for the, just like the dinner table. People, you know, there's yeah. so many, I think, that are yeah. so different. Right, and I think like everybody feels because there is so much information, and I think people talk more now that if somebody's doing something differently than you are, then you're doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. So we have this like huge fear now of failing our children, and in the end, it's becoming so much anxiety for parents that we really are starting to fail them. You know, that we're listening to what everybody else is doing and because it works for them and their kids, or we assume it works for them and their kids, we feel we need to do it with ours. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of like teaching your kids, um, you know, at six months old, we feel like we need to start teaching them how to read. Right. When, you know, they're just learning to sit up. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of like taking a step back and realizing if you're not doing my baby can read at six months, it doesn't mean, you know, that your kids aren't hitting their milestones that mm -hmm. they need to. All right, yeah, absolutely. Good subject today, ladies. Mm -hmm. And right now we have a list that you guys have found on the toxic styles of modern day parenting, correct? Right. Correct. Yep. All right, who wants to start? Um, I will. We found okay. a few just different things. You know, we talked last segment about how things are so different now from mm -hmm. how they were 50 years ago. Um, and people don't really know if that's a right or a wrong. It's kind of a blurry line. Sometimes there's so much information out there. So one of the th a couple of the lists we came across were the seven um, toxic parenting styles. Mm -hmm. One is the helicopter parenting, and that's like hovering over your child all the time, making sure everything they're doing, you know, you're always there. And they say to be like interactive with your child, but not like you don't always have to be doing like helping them they have to learn some independence you know right, you need absolutely. to let them do and find things out and discover and learn things on their own without always having you be there and just like 
guiding them and helping them and telling them what to do. Mm -hmm. You know, they need to explore and experiment. Right. And yeah. sometimes they may fall down and they may scrape a knee, but that's fine. Yeah, right. that's you know, life, that's, right? Yeah, that, yeah, like not over scheduling mm -hmm. them, you okay. know, like letting them have some free play time and, right. you know, not having this like super strict regimen mm -hmm. that here's what they do every single day. I mean, they definitely need structure and scheduling is good because mm -hmm. they like to know what to expect, but also like giving them time. Yeah, the independence to, yeah. you know, Color right, whatever they want to color. And, right. right. Absolutely. Right. All right. What else is on the list? Um, another one we came up with was hothead parenting. Mm -hmm. And that's just like all, like nowadays everyone's so focused on like how, how smart your kid is or how much they need to learn. Right. And so people sometimes I think are pushing their children too early too much. Mm -hmm. You know, when they're a year old, they don't need to be reading. You know, I get that that's really smart or something right. or two. But like just like let them learn on their, like, I don't know even, like let them learn yeah. what they know at that point. Like if they're learning to walk and they're learning to look at mm -hmm. books and they like to color, like go with what they like, you know, yeah. always pushing new things on Not them. Not forcing everything right. on them. Right. Yeah. Really focus on their natural talents right. and what they are interested in. Okay. Yeah. What else is on the list, Molly? Um, one of the big ones is buddy parenting, mm -hmm. which is basically trying to be your um, child's friend instead of their parent. Mm -hmm and you know wanting to make sure that they like you instead of sending um, or setting firm boundaries mm -hmm. um, you know and by firm it doesn't necessarily mean like screaming and yelling at them right. or you know um, but you know letting them know you are in charge and mm -hmm. while you love them here's what you know here's how we're going to operate and here's what needs to Absolutely. be done now we are already out of time but will you guys put this yes. list on your yeah. okay so find um, our moms on the go on their facebook page that's w and w o moms on the go and um, they'll have that list on there for us and definitely a really interesting topic to talk about today, ladies. All right, thanks so much.